I was kind of hoping and like crossing my fingers that the flight would have been canceled so we could have been like stuck here in San Fran for like a day or two and I could have got paid and not do nothing. <laughs> everybody and welcome back to another vlog thank you for watching thank you for subscribing and if you have not subscribed yet make sure you take a second right now to go ahead and click that subscribe button okay good I have just made it to Seattle it is 9 30 Seattle time 12 30 New York time it has been the longest day for me if you watch my last vlog that I haven't posted yet but it should be up by the time y'all see this one you know that I had the craziest commute ever just trying to get back to work so I'm finally here layover tonight it's a short layover it's like 11 hours but I'm starving so me and a few of my crew members are gonna go head down to the hotel bar get some food and call it a night um, the hotel is kind of cute too so I'll give y'all a tour of the room when I get back. good morning everybody I said I was gonna give y'all a room tour so let me do it really quickly. This is the entrance when you walk in. You have your restroom to your right. It's nice and contemporary. Sink and all my jazz. And then to your left, I have two beds, my favorite. And they have these cool red lamps. When I walked in, it was um, pitch black, and then just the red part of the lamps were lit up. I thought that was kind of funny. Um, nice window. Can't, it's like a, it's a street view. It's okay. And they have this little snack goodie bar down here. When I met my crew members at the bar last night. One of them pointed these out to me. He was like, oh, this hotel is prepared. They have like little love kits for him and her it has like massage oils and condoms in them i thought that was pretty interesting i've never seen that at a hotel but yes it is sunday march 11th 2018 and it's daylight saving time i think that is the worst thing to ever happen in the middle of a pairing of a trip because it just confuses you like no matter how much things change automatically like i have checked like five different devices to make sure that it was that it's six whatever in the morning because I do not I do not I cannot be late so I was just like oh my gosh like is the time right like did my phone update did my iPad update did my laptop update did my iWatch update and then I looked at the clock that comes in the hotel room you know usually you have to change those automatically it says the right time also so that really freaked me out because I was like why does it say that time <laughs> How did it do it? So maybe it's a smart, it's a smart alarm clock. Like I have no idea. That part really, really confused me. So um, I was texting Fawn and actually I woke up to text messages from Fawn saying, don't forget about daylight saving time. Um, wherever she is, two crew members overslept. So now like the planes are delayed and things like that. And that, that's why I'm just like, wait, okay, Alexia, make sure you got your crap together here. So I'm about to try to finish editing this vlog for you all um, about commuting. <laughs> I had a heck of a day the other day trying to commute. I'm still like trying to recover from that 13 hour day at the airport. Um, and then yeah, I have a report, a shuttle time I think of like 8.50. So gotta go, see y'all later. Good morning. We have made it to the airport, very short layover. Um, yeah, we're just trying to find our gate, maybe get a little food. I wasn't able to pack lunch or anything for this trip. No food, no lunch kit. So I'm going to have to eat out every day in my life. But I'm going to try to be healthy. Um, but yeah, we are headed to Boston. And we have another short layover tonight in Boston. And Boston. It doesn't make so lines already so long no matter where you go. Look at that. Show y'all what we do for customers. They have the option to pick their meal ahead of time if they don't want what's on the regular menu. They can do like special meals, vegan meals, gluten-free meals. So this is just like a basic meal. Mac, salad, hamburger. Yummy! 
and today we're doing um, West Coast, East Coast, so East Coast down. So we have different menu options from coast to coast. And then we give them five options and then they get to pick three. So this is something. What is this? Got a poached lobster, pork stew, and some type of salad. Looks yummy. So this person chose to get only two of the five options, and that is the spicy zucchini something, something I can't pronounce y'all, and then the herby lentil salad. And then some of the items you just have to garnish, make sure that the tray is nice and clean, and it's all good. So now we serve the meals, and it's dessert time, and the cool thing that our company does is um, whatever city that we're departing from, they partner with a ice cream shop in that city, and that's the ice cream that we serve. So we're leaving Seattle, so this is an uh, ice cream from Seattle, and it's vanilla and what's the other flavor? Vanilla and what? No, uh, oh, honey, vanilla? Or, honey organic and lavender ice cream. Oh, it's honey organic and lavender ice cream. So each city has a different ice cream. It's wonderful. Alright, ready to Boston. We have a nice short 11 hour. <sighs> Tired, can't talk. 11 hour layover. So, once again, this is just gonna be fine food and go to bed. Probably have a really early shuttle tomorrow, and then we do Boston to San Fran, which is a long flight. We're blocked for 6 hours and 47 minutes. So, hopefully, it ends up shorter than that, but. You never know, and there's supposed to be a storm coming tomorrow, so all of that combined, it's like, let me just get some rest. Who knows what the day ahead of me is going to bring. I would use my voice if I were a singer, Ooh, no matter who or what we are, we must pray. That's about to fall on me. 
child's vibes when moving in jet ski. Cause, cause I serve a god that parted the Red Sea. Multi million dollar commercials for Pepsi. From food stamps to more ice than Gretzky. I don't gotta talk, the Lord defends me. I watch them all fall for going against me. Cause me and all my angels shot the devil up. While you was trying to pull me down, I love them. I raise them, I raise them, name it, claim it. Every tone that bosses up against me, shame it. I breathe success in and out my lungs. I got the power of life and death coming out. Saying praying, praying for a quick flight time. But good morning, praying for a quick flight time. But um, who knows? Say hi. Hi. So she just she's going to in flight. When when? April twenty fifth. Wish her good luck. I know some of y'all might be in her class. So nice to meet you, love. So we're on the craft. Um, it's six thirty. Morning is supposed to start at six forty seven. And we haven't been provisioned yet, so I can't really do what I'm supposed to do because I know I'm F2 this flight, so I have to check all of um, all of catering to make sure that we got our food and things like that. But we haven't been provisioned, so I'm chilling like a big dog. I'm gonna uh, relax the seat back. Hello. I'm gonna take a little nap because I'm not that well rested. But I'm cute. <laughs> Got a red light special today. This apple is good, y'all. Hungry? Still haven't been provisioned. <laughs> and we're supposed to be boarding in five minutes. That's not going to happen. And did I tell y'all that we're worried about a storm and we're going to get stuck in San Francisco possibly tomorrow? Because it's supposed to be a snowstorm happening in JFK Monday, Tuesday. And we're supposed to come back Monday, Tuesday night. So, Oh, they're changing? That's yellow. <laughs> Got the yellow color. Say hi to Jim. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey guys. That was the longest flight ever, it felt like, from Boston to San Francisco. But I finally made it to the hotel. I'm about to nap it out. I just feel like I'm being so lazy and boring this layover. You know, usually I like to get out and do things. We have 23 hours here. But, it, like, the struggle just to get to work, and now we've had those two short 11-hour layovers and waking up at the crack of dawn and back and forth, East Coast, West Coast. I feel like I'm just trying to catch up with myself. Like, I just want to catch up and sleep. So, I might get up a little later and do a little something. You know, we stay um, pretty close to downtown San Fran for the longer layovers, so... They have some cute little stores and stuff. I might just go walk, but I'm not going to do anything too extravagant. And then we still haven't figured out if our flight is going to be canceled for tomorrow. They're saying um, Boston is supposed to get like 10 to 15 inches of snow for tomorrow. So they've canceled like 396 flights that um, are like in and out of Boston, but nothing to JFK. So we're supposed to do um, San Fran to JFK tomorrow and it has not been canceled. I'm hoping and like crossing my fingers that the flight would have been canceled so we could have been like stuck here in San Fran for like a day or two and I could have got paid and not do nothing <laughs> just keeping it real y'all it's been a struggle the past few days but um yeah that wasn't what happened yet but you never know I might wake up tomorrow and snowstorms like crazy in New York and we can't get back so who knows I will keep y'all posted on that nap time well guys i'm finally up and about and i come outside and it's raining um 
Yeah, I'm not gonna be crazy and walking around. I was thinking about it for a second. Well, I don't have an umbrella, I don't have a hat, I don't have anything, so I'm gonna call it Uber. And yeah, okay. I said forget it. <laughs> Ubers were taking like 14 minutes for me to walk like four minutes away. So, no. We're gonna use these legs, put them to use, y'all. So a nice four minute walk and I am here. Shops and stores that I love. Oh, I need that. Let's go on Look who I found. Oh my gosh. Woo. So, honest to gosh, y'all, I should not be in here. I just spent so much money in here a few weeks ago. It was quite ridiculous. But I just can't help myself. And I need a cute pair of shoes. I have officially found my new favorite Zara to shop in. Y'all know Zara is my favorite store, hands down. But this one is just so like clean and airy and you can just see everything. <sighs> I'm in love. San Francisco Zara owns my heart. Union Square or whatever this place is called. Freaking love it, love it. This jacket that I have on is from Zara, y'all like it? I thought it was cute, little collarless jacket. I knew something was different about this store. It just opened two weeks ago. Yes, Alexia. <laughs> the simplest things make me happy. It's so shameful, but I love it. Love it. Okay, on to the next destination. I really came shopping to get tights. Tights so I can wear my uniform dress tomorrow because I've been having to wear the same pants and blazer this whole trip because of my commute struggle. I didn't get to like pack correctly. So let me go find some tights and get out of here. Ugh, I made the wrong decision. Went to the mall, bought all kind of stuff, except for an umbrella. Less than smart, Alexia, less than smart. Uh, all right, I think I'm done spending money that I shouldn't be spending. Where's my mother when I need her so she can't control me? <laughs> Uh, yeah, this rain has kind of just put a damper in the day, but it's okay. Um, Y'all, there are so many homeless people in San Francisco. Like, they're everywhere. It breaks my heart. But, you know, I don't, I don't know. I want to say everybody has their choices, but you just don't know what people have been through in life. So, yeah, I'm going to head back to the hotel and... Go to the gym. I haven't done that in about a week or so, so I need to go. Gotta stay fit. 30 for 30. <laughs> There's no way oh, that I can walk past Sephora and not go in here. I mean, all these stores out here have been just so amazing. Sephora is gonna be amazing too. Hello, Sephora. So what do y'all think of this red? I bought one of these, it's a liquid lipstick in a brown, and it wears so well. Like I've actually been using it as a lip liner, but like when I eat, all of that stuff, it doesn't transfer. So I'm thinking about getting this one as my new flight attendant red. Y'all know I love the Rihanna Stunna lip paint, but it just, it doesn't do well for an all day wear for me. But this red isn't like, it's not as vibrant as that one either. Tell me what y'all think, yes or no? Okay, so this is another red that they have. This one looks a little more raspberry. And that other one had like a little bit more of an orange tint. Which one do y'all think? So these are both by, um, how do you pronounce this? Ciate or whatever. It's their liquid velvet lips. So cute. So the color I have on is called Diva. And the one before that is called Starlet. Cute, right? I'm going to Ciate liquid velvet. I love the way they wear. They're not sticky. They're not too dry. They feel absolutely amazing. This is Starlet, and then this one is Diva. Okay, all seriousness, I'm so done now. It's getting dark, and I still need to go to the gym. <laughs> I'm starting to fall more and more in love. What did you just say? <laughs> I'm really starting to fall in love with this city. Like, I really like San Fran. Or at least downtown San Fran. It's nice. I'm gonna live right down here. 
walk to all my favorite stores but it's expensive here like expensive like New York so not about that life nope I'm just gonna have to keep coming to visit that's it now that's a big crew I don't know what airline that is but that is a lot of pilots and flight attendants goodness gracious it's like 20 of them see that's why I love my airline that's near and dear to my heart I don't think I would be so peaceful and pleasant all the time if I had to fly with that many people that's a lot of personalities on a metal tube okay <laughs> But that's what those international airlines look like. That's what some of these legacy airlines look like. Not that many though, but I know like American and them on the big old planes, they have like 12 or plus flight attendants sometimes. Craziness. I can't remember what floor I'm on. I've stopped at two floors and went to my room number and that's not it. This hotel has like different towers. Then you go to your floor and then you go to your room number. <laughs> I don't know what floor I'm on. Usually I bring my little key card thing with the floor with the room number written on it. Um, I didn't do that this time. So I think I'm on floor 17. If I try to put my key in one more door and they don't open, I'm going to die. <laughs> okay. No, I don't think it's floor 17. That looks too high. I don't remember pressing that button last time. I thought it was 12, but I thought maybe 15. Jeez. Okay, we'll try it again. If this isn't it, I'm canceling my workout whenever I do find it because I've done enough walking. <laughs> Goodness. Okay. 13, 15. I know my room is room 21. But is it 1221, 1521, or 1721? Let's try 1721. Okay. Come on, give me a green light. Yes! <sighs> ah, and I'm home. This is the room, y'all. Pretty simple. Nothing special. I did get my double beds that I like. And the restroom. All right. I'm done. That was a fast, intense workout. Whew. I just need to get consistent, y'all. Boy, this used to be easier five years ago. <laughs> so guys, I just picked up some food from this little restaurant downstairs, a little cafe type place. No update on our flight being canceled. So <laughs> I'm just gonna prepare myself for bed. And then we have a 10.02 a.m. van. So, back to JFK we go. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know why I want to stay here so bad. I just love this hotel. I just love this area. And it's going to be cold and snowy in New York. Nobody wants to go back to that, right? <laughs> Anyways, talk to y'all tomorrow. Good morning, good morning. So, we did not get lucky enough for them to cancel our flight. So, I'm headed back to New York cold and rainy boo oh but check out the lip y'all this is which one i think it was called starlet right y'all like it y'all like it it's kind of cute but yeah hopefully we have a nice short flight time this is the end of the four day it's been pretty chill nothing too crazy has been going on so that's always good but let me go find some food and get on the airplane so I'm just on the aircraft thinking about this Beyonce ticket they go on sale tomorrow. So I was feeling really down in my spirit because I'm not going to Coachella. And after I missed one Beyonce concert, I had promised myself I would never miss another. And Coachella just was not in my budget this year. Yet, so no. I was like, okay, B, I'm gonna have to see you another time. So I'm gonna have to pass up on Coachella. And now, on the run tour two is coming oh my gosh y'all so me and Fawn decided that we're gonna go out of the country to go see B 
and I cannot wait to land this airplane, wake up tomorrow, and be on it for those pre-sale tickets. 10 a.m. Be on set. Be on set. Be on set. <laughs> I'm just so excited. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> well, it was a wonderfully smooth flight back to New York. Didn't really feel like five hours went by very quickly. Um, <laughs> this guy tried to get up during final descent. Final descent meaning we're landing. We were like literally, Wills had just come down, about to land, and he's at the freaking window having everybody get up so he can get out. I had to quickly stop him from getting up. And he had learned to have an attitude with me. When we finally did land, tell me that I almost made him pee on himself and he could have made it. Well, sir, for the safety of yourself and others on this aircraft, you need to stay in that seat. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, y'all. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Until next time, bye!